Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Rick. I want to take a moment to thank everyone who follows uh, me at It's All The Buzz. Just let you know how much I appreciate you. You know, I talk to a lot of people about raising orchard mason bees. And there's always a number of questions that come up. You know, when do you put the bees out? Where do you mount the house? How efficient are they? And whether or not these bees are aggressive. I can tell you, I've been raising these bees a long time and I have never been stung. I probably should rephrase that comment. I've never been stung by an orchard mason bee. Anyway, these bees are actually native to uh, North America um, and they're very highly efficient pollinators and they're safe around your family and your pets. Now, the next question that always comes up, especially people that are just beginning is, how do I introduce uh, the bees to the bee house once I have a bee house? Because most of the time, when you buy these bees, you'll get them in loose cell form uh, in a small box similar to this one. So you, you're purchasing these bees. They're alive in a hibernated state inside of a cocoon. So you have these live bees in these cocoons who are hibernating. So how in the world do you introduce them to the bee house? Now, in the market out there, in the industry, there's a number of different release methods. You can add this or add that or put your bees here or there or whatever. And I'm sure most of that stuff kind of works. But what I wanted to do was build a bee house that had its own uh, built-in release mechanism into the bee house. Now, there's lots of different bee houses on the market. They're big, small, um, house-shaped, all that kind of stuff. I like this A-frame design. Um, I kind of came up with this idea. I think I'm the only one in the industry who makes an A-frame bee house. The other ones are a little easier to make. They're more square. These are a little more difficult, but I really do like this design. And you can see uh, it's got a stamp on the face plate in the front. It says Orchard Mason Bees. It's all the buzz with the bee insignia and two escape chambers on the side uh, with the nesting chambers above because behind this plate is a empty chamber. So what happens is, is that when you uh, purchase this house, what you do is you take it home and you mount it where you want your bee house to be. And this is a false floor. So what you do is just grab this and slide the floor out and you got that empty chamber below the floor and you put your bees in there. Then you just take the floor and slide the floor back into the bee house. And then put uh, your nesting chambers on top. So what happens is, is that um, this empty chamber where your cocoons are is an incubation chamber. When the temperature is right, the bees will warm up, they will hatch and crawl out of one or one of the two holes here in the bee house. They will immediately mate and uh, start flying and pollinating and coming back naturally by instinct to come back to where they were born and they'll start nesting in these nesting chambers. These holes are not uh, the right size, they're too large, the bees will not nest in there, they will go up here. Now if you see bees going in now, they're, they're probably males because uh, you know by nature the males want to mate with the females so if you have any females in there that have not hatched yet Males will crawl in there and encourage those females to hatch so that they can mate with them. I've seen it happen hundreds of times for males to go in and out of the nest uh, uh, release container. You know, I am a small business and I raise all my own bees. I harvest all my own bees and I make my own bee houses. Now, this is a new design, like I said. And I don't plan on making a lot of them. Right now, I'm thinking about making 20. So I'm not going to have a lot of them. So if you're interested in this bee house and would like one, please contact me and uh, we'll make that happen. Um, also, you know, if there's, if there's a big enough interest, I will make more. But right now, I only plan on making a few. So um, like I said, reach out if you're interested in one of the bee houses. Um, if you like this, make sure you go to uh, It's All the Buzz Facebook page, like my page, 
And you can also go to my website at itsallabuzz.com. Go to the blog. I have uh, some videos in there on harvesting. I have three videos in there. Kind of take you A to Z and explain the whole harvesting process. I also have videos on my Facebook page and some information stuff there uh, that should be beneficial to you as well. Uh, also, if you have any questions about raising orchard mason fees, please don't hesitate to uh, send me a message, and I'm always happy to help. Thanks for tuning in, and remember to like my page. Thanks. Until then, bye-bye.